This video is sponsored by Filmora. More about them at the end of the sketch. Oh, what was that, you sleepy? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. My house burned down. Because of how hot fire is? Because of how hot fire is, that's right. So I don't really have anywhere to sleep anymore, so I'm trying not to do it. Well, today's your lucky day, my guy. It's absolutely not. What if I told you I got a building full of rooms? I'd say that sounds pretty normal for a building. Nothing to panic about there. Yeah, but I got beds in practically every single room, and these bad boys are up for grabs. So you want me to take one of the beds from these rooms? I don't have anywhere to put that. No, you give me some money, you could sleep in one of these beds, in one of these rooms. Oh, you want me to move in with you? No, I actually don't live in this place. This is a building full of rooms I made for other people. Kind of a weird thing to do. It's gonna be called a hotel. That's a terrible name. It sounds like a telecommunications company for promiscuous people. Well, so wait, the idea here is people pay to sleep in your building? Yeah, see, this way if people are away from their homes for whatever reason, or if their homes burn down because of how hot fire is, they'll have a place to go. Okay, I guess that's a pretty decent business idea. Your dang right it is because people have to pass out for several hours every day they gotta do it it is very refreshing to not be awake for extended periods of time and hey speaking of things people have no choice but to do you're gonna have a little bathroom in your room too oh well, that does sound nice because my toilet melted so i've just been kind of holding it in understandable so listen why don't you come down to my place of business and you know Take a crap and pass out. I mean, I don't have any of my bathroom stuff with me, though. Oh, I've actually got you covered. I got tiny little soaps and tiny little shampoos. Extremely cute. It's all included. What about toothpaste? Why would I give you toothpaste? I just... Why are you giving me the other stuff? I don't know, but you get a shower cap, too. Okay, I need to clean my teeth, too, though. Yeah, that part's on you. I'm not going to help you with that. Okay. There's also going to be a little blow dryer in the bathroom attached to the wall. It's barely going to work. Could you make it so it does work? Nope, and also it has a phone cord attached to it for some reason, I decided. It seems like you're just kind of making this stuff up. Kind of, yeah. Everybody's going to get a little bucket for ice. Ice? Yep, there's gonna be a couple of ice machines around the building. You gotta waddle around with your bucket and find them if you want some ice. I guess that sounds fun. Anything else I should know about? Oh, I put a freaking pool in the building. I figure some hotels could have those. Oh, you did? Yeah, you could head down there, hang out next to a screaming child, maybe have a swim, get a cool fungus on your foot. What? And I figure there can always be a family at the pool that's like... A little too comfortable there. Okay. Anyway, after your final night, you gotta get out before 11 a.m. You gotta get out of my building. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, we gotta get somebody into your room to clean up after whatever weird, dirty stuff you did in there. I wouldn't, I'm not planning on doing weird stuff. Even so, people are pretty gross and dirty, just in general. And some people are gonna do some weird stuff in these rooms. Wait, does that mean that somebody might have slept in my bed the night before and done weird stuff? Oh, absolutely. Ugh. Oh, but don't worry about it. We're gonna change a little piece of fabric on top of the mattress, so it's okay. Okay. I'm just gonna try to not think about that part. That's probably a good move. So what do you say? You win? Yeah, no, I mean, it does sound pretty cool. I think it might catch on. You're dang right it's gonna catch on like a fire in a basement, huh? Uh... Wait, I didn't tell you the fire started in the basement. Listen, I had to get the word out somehow. Please don't use arson as a marketing tool. That's fair. <laughs> Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Filmora 10. Listen, if you're gonna create videos for the internet, you're gonna need some good video editing software. And I should know, I make a bunch of videos over on my React channel where I react to random videos I find. Why does he have a mustache on top of his mustache? When it comes to video editing, Filmora 10 is great for beginners and experienced editors. I mean, this software is great. There's a ton you could do with it. For example, a video editor could hypothetically use the chroma key feature on Filmora 10 to remove a green screen background and isolate this guy. Then the editor could hypothetically put that guy inside an astronaut suit. That's pretty cool. Then the editor can insert a background of outer space and using keyframes, go ahead and animate this guy to make it seem like he's floating through space and hope. Wait a minute. Wait, uh, am I not in space right now? Am I just a guy on a green screen? What is that? Anyway, in the month of March, Filmora is running a campaign called Hashtag Travel Anywhere. Make a video using household items or Filmora effects to create your dream destination at home for a chance to win some awesome prizes. Check the description for more details. You can also try Filmora 10 for free by clicking the link in the description. Go ahead, you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna go have an existential crisis now. Bye. <laughs>